Okay, so first things first, when you are doing this paper mache wall hanging, you have to draw the shape that you want, and that is what I'm doing right now. And that will be the camel and then the elephant. Once you have your shape that you want, or shapes, you're going to take some recycled magazine paper, newspaper, whatever you want, and you're going to get it, rip it, cut it, whatever you're going to do, and then right after that, you're going to make paper balls. And now using a glue gun, I am going to glue all of the paper balls. And because this is modeled after the um, circus animal cookie, I am not going to add really any animal detail. So I'm going to keep it kind of flat looking because it's, you know, supposed to be like a realistic kind of large larger than life size cookie so there you go and once your shape is coated with paper balls we are going to take some masking tape and we're going to tape it along the perimeter the outline of the shape our cookie and this will be so that we keep a really nice even set shape for our paper mache sculpture piece that we work in on Here's the recipe for the homemade starch for our paper mache. And this mixture can be adjusted to whatever you like. Now we're going to cut up lots of strips of recycled magazine paper and make sure you have enough. So now we're dipping the recycled strips of paper into the paper mache mixture onto our paper mache sculpture with the paper balls and the cardboard. So you just lay the strips across evenly and you can do as many layers as you really want. The more the better. And when you're using magazine paper, remember to let it soak a little bit so that when you put them on. And once that dries up, you're going to use some gesso, which is actually a primer for acrylic paint and you're going to use that as a base so you're going to cover the entire thing white and then we're going to add the pink for the pink cookie and then we're going to keep the other one white and then just you know color the non pareils with other acrylic paint colors oh the roughness of the recycled paper and that's going to provide a nice smooth surface so that we can kind of get the effect of some icing mm-hmm uh-huh yeah. I'm using pink gift wrap tissue to kind of smooth out and also kind of wrap up and seal 
the entirety of this project so that I can get started with the with the nonpareils. And I'm doing this in as many layers as I need or want to. Using napkins, I also made like lots of little um, balls for the nonpareil sprinkles and you can make as many as you need or want to. I made around 90, so there you go. And when they fully dry, you are going to use your hot glue gun to glue them onto your dry, you know, paper mache project. So, you can glue them wherever you want to and, you know, they don't look exactly like the circus animal cookies, so they're going to be everywhere. And this will pretty much complete the paper mache construction part of this project. Once everything is dry and finished, we're going to use some Mod Podge to seal everything. I'm using matte. To. Next, we're going to cut out a piece of flannel that is to the shape of the paper mache project and we are going to glue it onto the back of it. Now using some metal wire, I am going to cut a little piece into a loop, a circle actually, and I am going to put a strip of fabric in between it, glue that together, and we have our hook that we're going to use to glue on the back of the project, and that is what we're going to use to hang it onto the wall. Ha! <sighs> 
finally we are done this project is officially completed and i think this is a really nice you know room decoration item i think it's really fun it's really cool it's always gonna be a reference in your favorite type of cookies that you love to eat and i grew up on these cookies and i remember my mom took them away from me because i ate them too much you know i was a real sugar freak but at the same time uh thanks for watching enjoy let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe me and see you later